hey guys welcome back so today's video is just some curly fries that are cheesy because i've just been craving some of this and it's hot and just like freshly made it was so steamy earlier when i first pulled it out Yum. Good, good, good. I love that I also did get um, a water bottle from there. Sorry the lighting guys, it's really horrible right now. And the steering wheel. It's just in my way. I feel like in most places it's so hard to find good curly fries. At least maybe for me because I live in a small town. And just in general, like, ever since life moved here, it's just hard to find good curly fries. So thirsty. I don't know. It might be just me. But that's what I feel like. I don't know. I wish you could really see the curly fries better. For this, for this, for just this, since you can't speak, and the bottled water, which is like 25 cents, came around six dollars. And they put a lot, a lot of curly fr uh, fries in here, they really hook it up. These also have um some mayo. The ketchup that they give is again the skinny thinner ones, which honestly is really nothing in there. But I'm gonna drop some mayo on top of here just to give it like uh, the cheese already is adding flavor, but it's just really cheesy. So yeah, I hope nobody looks at me and thinks I'm a weirdo. Filming in the car, eating, talking to myself. I mean, if you guys saw somebody filming and eating, would you guys think it's for a mukbang? You know? I actually saw someone once in Portland who was who had their actual like camera out in front of them and they were like eating a food. So I think they were either doing a mukbang or like a review of what they were eating. Which I thought was pretty cool that was when I was doing like still doing you know starting to do uh mukbangs mukbang 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 I don't know how you pronounce it it's such a weird name but let's try it with some mayo I thought it was really cool yum man why is it bad food is so good for you, but healthy food is not that great. I'm 
very crispy. And also notice like when you, sometimes when I can't find good curly fries, it's very smushy. There's like no uh, crisp to it or crunch or whatever. I was going to get just the original curly fries, but I thought I would get the cheese ones. They got my windows are like kind of steamy and foggy. Because of all the steam from this, I don't have to worry about people really looking at me. Or like making awkward eye contact. <clears throat> so yeah, like if me and that guy that I was talking about in the last video decide to get serious, you know, um, he is moving to Portland, so you know I would relocate there with him, and I think that would be super cool. Because then I could do like, you know, more interesting videos and more food videos and all that stuff, you know? Excuse me, my throat likes to make noises. But, yeah, I think that would be super cool. We can check out more cool places, you know? Cool vlogs, cool mukmangs. Mukbang. I think that's how you pronounce it. Oh. There's people over there. There's a lot of people walking around. It's not late. It's like 6 o'clock right now. cars are coming here. Okay. What I'm going to do is put some ketchup. McDonald's ketchup. Just around here to add like some more liquidy flavor. Because I feel like the cheese is a lot. At least in my opinion. I don't know. I would love to make like loaded Doritos one day and all those things. Um, I have been making some new homemade recipes, but I just haven't been really filming them, which I need to start doing that. Because, you know, there, there's a lot of good food out there and I've been making some pretty good looking food and, you know, they're coming out pretty decent for a first timer. So, yeah. That was a fail. Okay. I guess we're not going to have that piece right now. It's going to be way more than enough of food. And this big of plate of curly fries, you don't really need, um, you know, a hamburger. on the side <clears throat> so um February he's coming down here He's getting a, a hotel. And he's saying one day, um, you know, 
so we can get to know each other some more and all that stuff. And you can see Long Beach and you know get a feel of where I live. Blah blah blah. It's gonna be so cool. I can just picture myself living in freaking Portland. I love Portland. I've always wanted to live in Portland. Always. Who's talking so loud? There's like a loud female voice. Anyways, yeah, it would be so cool to live in Portland. Um, if you want to live in like a high rise building, you know, those tall buildings, I'm low key scared of those just because I've seen like YouTube videos and then watching 9 11 like a plane crashing into it and not really having a way to escape kind of scares me. You know? And also the fact that like, but if an earthquake happens, is the building strong enough to handle that? And just being so far up in the sky kind of low-key scares me, but I don't know. Like, if I was to move to a bigger city like that, though, I would want to live, I feel like, right smack downtown. So that would be very expensive, or like nearby it, with living like a tall building like that. I am hearing a very, like, loud voice. I'm trying to see where it's coming from. Sounds like a female. I don't know where. I'm like smack right in the in I was about to say downtown. I guess the city right here, right where all those shops are. I'm, I'm right here. Right smack into it. So there's a lot of traffic, a lot of cars going by, and quite a few good amount of people actually going by. Is there tomatoes in here? did not put tomatoes. Oh no, it's my ketchup in here. I was gonna cry. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me. You know what? triggers me about youtubers when they claim to say that when they get hate comments and they claim to say that hate comments doesn't bother them but they always constantly mention all the hate comment and all the hate they get in every single video it's like if it doesn't bother you then don't talk about it ignore it like you know don't bring it up in every single video it clearly shows you do care because you're bringing it up if you didn't care you don't bring it up you know annoying you know because there's a couple youtubers that i watch and they keep bringing up all this hate but they, they claim it doesn't bother them it's like okay clearly does
Okay. One last big bite. Because this is starting to get to be a lot. All these females. It, females. All these people. There's a lot of people out here. Usually there's not this many people out here. But tonight there is. I guess. Anyways, let me drink some water. Before I continue to go to sleep. Why is it making that kind of noise? I don't want to drink this one. I want to drink this one. 25 cents for a bottle of water, which is good. Because usually they're freaking expensive, I feel like. I don't know. Anyways, um, I think it would be just, I could just feel like it would be so cool to like live in Portland. Especially right downtown, you know, show the city, explore, have like everything right next to me. Versus where I live now where everything is so far away. If I want to go to an actual, an actual mall, the nearest one to me right now is like an hour away. You know, that's, that's kind of far for just to go to the mall, but like, I don't know. I mean, it is what it is. But anyways, um, I guess I will see y'all in the next video and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.